Hey everyone, welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name's Alicia, I'm a craft producer here with Makers Gonna Learn, and today we are gonna talk about the Cricut font hack that you may not know about yet. If you have saw one of our lives, we did this within a live and everybody went crazy, and we thought, let's put a tutorial together so you all can utilize this design concept in your own designs. So this is what everybody was loving. So what we've done here is put a font in, made an offset, sliced it out, and we came up with this beautiful design. So I'm gonna show you all exactly how to do this step by step. It's super easy. Let's get into it. Okay, now that we are on the computer, I have Design Space pulled up and I have got our Makers Gonna Learn website pulled up right behind it. I am in our font section. So if you are new around here, we are a membership-based crafting community and we offer thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, new releases every single month. And we have so many options here that we're gonna have to choose from. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll down. Now we could totally use um, like just the basic scripty font. We could use something like this. Um, you're not going to want to do it for every single font. You're going to want to select a font that is consistent all the way through. So this font hack isn't necessarily going to work for something like Aztec or Autobahn, um, but it would work better for something like Brock the Jock. Let's try this one. We could totally do it with this font. So I'm going to go ahead, download the font. It's going to go into a zip folder double click that to unlock the folder and then we're going to select this font and install. So from here we're going to go back to design space and if you don't already have a font downloaded when you initially download it you're going to need to hit view reload and then we're going to go ahead and open up a text box. So let's just spell out the word Halloween. And then what we're gonna do is change the font. So go up here to our fonts. Um, you can go ahead and type in Brock the Jock if you want to. Now, with the Cricut update, there's not gonna be anything come up over here on the left side. So you're gonna have to select system and it's gonna be right here. So this first one is what we're looking for. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger for you all. And then what we're gonna do is add an offset. So right up here, you can see there's a drop down. We're gonna select offset. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. Mm, 0.25 is a little bit big. So let's try 0.1. I think that's good. And then we're gonna go ahead and select apply. And then what we're gonna do, so this is now two layers. So what we're gonna do is select both layers. I'm just clicking and dragging. And down here on the bottom right, you'll see a slice option. So I'm gonna go ahead and select slice. And then you can pull this down, we don't need that. And then you can pull this down. And this is what you have left. And that's it. I'm gonna show you all the same process with a script font, just so you can see it both ways. It's the same exact process. So we'll go back to our fonts on the Makers Gonna Learn website. And let's go to our script option. I'm gonna slide down here. Let's use Addy Kate for this. Go ahead, download your font and pull it into Design Space. We're gonna open up another text box and I'm just gonna write out the word lovely. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna go ahead and change my font to Addy Kate. Shrink this down just a little bit. Okay, we're going to add an offset. And you can make it really as big or as small as you want. Point 0.1 is working for me, so I'm just gonna keep it here. I'm gonna select apply. And then we're gonna click and drag to make sure both layers are selected. And I can even change the offset layer so you all can see it a little bit better. So you can see that back layer is in red, the top layer is in the dark gray, and then when you select them both and slice them, 
you're going to be able to see that this middle section pulls out perfectly and it looks so clean. So this is just something um, that you can add to your crafts or your designs um, just to add a little extra element of something. People may be like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? And it looks so pretty. I'll show you all the water bottle again so you can just get a good view of it. So you can see how this sort of elevates your design rather than just putting autumn on there just plain. This is just a little bit more elevated. So we like to do that around here. We like to show you all how you can elevate your crafts and your designs in super quick and easy ways just to make your projects look so much better. I hope you all learned something new today with this quick font hack that we came up with. We love, love how this looks on our projects and we would love to see what you all come up with. If you are new here and you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you're notified every time that we post new craft videos. We will see you all in the next one. Bye.